Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I want to share a physio update with you. So, I've actually been really bad. I've been neglecting my physio um, since the whole studio incident happened, and I haven't gone back actually since I believe it was the end of January when I did my last vlog. So, it's been a long time. It's been five months since I've been to physio, and she was like, Shame my physiotherapist. He was like, hey, long time. I'm like, yeah, I'm back. Um, it's not that I didn't, I haven't been wanting to go. It's just, I've been either, I've, I've been busy. I mean, it's just, life has happened and it's just been insane. And it's not an excuse. I know it is not an excuse because you have to take care of your body, um, especially when you're living with a, like a potentially long-term injury like I have. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, moving on. So I went in and it was so funny. It was like, so Jess, I have a new torture treatment for you. I'm like, really? Yeah, bring it on. Because, okay, it's really weird. I love the pain from manual release work. It's like he digs in or my massage therapist, Amy, digs in and um, they release the tension in my muscles because uh, um, my, my left hip and my left leg, it's really, really tight. The muscles are super tight because um, I'm thinking, I think he said it's because it's trying to protect me from my injury. Um, so my muscles are overcompensating. So he was like, have you ever had dry needling done? And so, oh gosh, like maybe 16 years ago or 15 years ago, I had dry needling done once by Dr. Chen um, for my calf because I was having, I, I was having intense, intense calf pain due to um, like a muscle not pressing against something. I don't remember exactly what he said, but anyways, he did one session of dry needling and I've never had a problem since. I was like, yeah, great, but I forgot what it felt like. <laughs> And so I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm a little bit nervous. And with Shane, I, I trust him really well. I trust his methods and I trust his techniques. And I'm never really nervous with him. But I was a wee bit nervous this time that I couldn't watch. Because, like, normally whatever he does to me, I'll watch. But I, I couldn't watch him put the needle in. So what dry needling it is, it's, it's often confused, apparently, with acupuncture. So acupuncture, you put it in, uh, into the pressure points and... I guess it's good for relaxation, but for this, it's actually to release like tender spots or or something along those lines. I'll try to find some links below to put in the description box for you. So I was like, "Well, what's it going to feel like?" And he's like, it's "The best way to say it's like it's like a whoa." <laughs> yeah, that is that is exactly what he said. My physiotherapist said it feels like whoa, and I was like, "What?" Wonk. He's like, that's the best way, that the only way he can really explain it. And he said, I'll understand. So the, so I basically had it done on my left hip. Um, he did, I think, three or four points. He did my rectus femoris, which is uh, the front part of your hip, uh, where it kind of creases when you're sitting, when the hip's flexed. Um, and then he did my sartorius, which is like, if you're looking at the inside of your thigh, it kind of goes like this muscle here. And then he did my IT band, which is on the outside of the thigh. So I know this is my arm, but I'm just trying to show you without having to get up and try to balance on my very wobbly swivel chair. So um, he did those points, and the first one, I was, he, he went in and it just felt like, tapa, 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 tapa. I'm like, oh, this is nothing. He's like, because I missed the point. I was like, oh. That's not good. <laughs> so then he just moved it by like a teeny tiny little bit. And oh my gosh, it was insane. You don't remember that walk <laughs> thing he said? Yeah, that's exactly what it felt like. It felt like wah. It went, because the first point it was like, pretend this is my thigh. It went from here. But the pain or the release sensation, it was kind of like, a tickly pain that's really, really intense. It traveled down the anterior part of my knee, like if this was my kneecap. So he he pressed here, like he put the needle in here, and it just went like whoom, all the way down to the front medial aspect of my knee, down to my shins, and I was like, that is so weird, so weird. But it was a really interesting feeling. I'm hoping that it will eventually feel 
better. Like I don't feel that twingy feeling anymore, but everything feels really bruised. So he did there and then he did my uh, Rectus Formoris. Um, two spots there because that part's always super duper duper tight. And then he did my IT band, which was like painful. <laughs> like, I was doing my giving birth labor breathing. I was like, <sighs> it was the most awkward feeling. It's not like labor type of intensity of pain, but it was just the oddest sensation that. I don't think I was quite anticipating that type of feeling. Yes, I think I'll say it like that. Anyways, I went into my <sighs> breathing, and yeah, it was it was it was a moment. Shane was laughing his head off. He thought it was that was like really funny. And, and by all means, it's not he's laughing at me because he's unprofessional. It's because we, we've also we, we talk a lot. He and my husband are friends. Right, so it, it was it was fine uh, because I laugh alongside with him, and uh, yeah. So after the session, the dry needling session, I probably will go back again um, for my glutes because now apparently because all of those muscles have released, everything else feels tight, and it was really cool because um, he after the, the the session he's like, okay, just try stretching it out, let's see what happens, and so. I could barely kneel down into a lunge because it just felt so awkward. Like, it was amazing how awkward it felt. Um, it wasn't really painful. There was definitely some discomfort and that just probably just because of my body is now adjusting to the different tension level of my muscles. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. But um, in my brain, I'm making sense. But, um, yeah, it's just, I had a hard time putting my left knee on the floor so I could do a lunge. Um, and then after that, walking, I was kind of like, limp I was favoring it a bit just because it feels like one huge bruise. Like from literally my knee all the way up to almost my waist area. Like even now it still feels a little bit awkward. It's not as bad. Like I can move my leg around and stuff, but I definitely feel the bruisey feeling. And they say it is normal to, to bruise um, uh, and feel it for an hour to up to two days post-treatment. Um, would I do it again? Yeah! And he warned me about this. He was like, it is something that you feel it, you're like, whoa! But then after, you're just like, give me more! Because now I'm like, ooh, if I get this done on my glutes too, will that solve the majority of my, my pain issues? Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'll probably go back in about another two to three weeks, life pending. Like, I always say I'm going back, but I'm so bad at it. Um, in the meantime, I have to keep stretching. I have to, I have to order a foam roller. I keep putting it off. I lost mine in the smoke. Um, at the studio, so I lost all my foam rollers. And it's just something that can't be cleaned because it is porous, so I didn't want to bring it into my house, right? Um, yeah, so definitely, it was an interesting experience. Have you guys ever done dry needling? If you have, comment below. Comment below and tell me what your experience was because it was definitely a really cool and interesting experience for me. Oh yeah, the other thing was when I was doing my lunge stretch to stretch my hip flexors, it was the first time I have ever felt it in my back, in my life. Like literally in my life. I've never felt the hip flexor stretch in my back. And he was telling me that, that the rectus femoris, I think if he, this is what he was meaning, my rectus femoris actually, it goes from the anterior part of the body and then it goes up into your back. So when you're actually doing a deep stretch, you should feel it partially in your back. I was like, oh my gosh, mind blown. Mind blown, that's so cool. So cool. But um, yeah, so off to healing bodies. I really do gotta stretch. Someone remind me to stretch every day. I have to, because I normally I stretch always at the studio, right? Now I'm not at the studio. Um, I need to, <laughs> I need to practice what I preach, what I tell my kids. You need to make sure you're stretching like five times a week at home. Yeah, I need I need to write it on my to do list to stretch every every day at home. Anyways, I will keep you up to date on how the next treatment session goes when I eventually get around to doing it. Hopefully, it'll be between two to four weeks. I'll get it done. And we will move forward in this healing journey. Um, and I need to stretch. So, you know, people who have me on Facebook, remind me to stretch every day. And better yet, stretch with me. We can make a 
date, my girlfriend Danielle and I, we used to do a 7 7.30 a.m. workout session that lasted, oh, like four sessions because it's hard to work out at 7.30 in the morning, like just to coincide it for between the both of us to collaborate, like to be in sync at the same time and doing it over a video chat. So yeah, I just gotta figure that out. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.